Snake wasn't that puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. You know, there's no hard feelings to a sharp. He don't owe me nothing. Oh, my, 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 I just still feel like this is interesting content. And to me, it's more interesting of what the homie Brick had to say. Oh, my, 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 my. Here we go, y'all. And I even want to give you another example from that Katana thing. We were talking about other hosts. Yeah. And we were like, I, I think the host that we were like discussing was like Spider Loke, because I think that Flacco and Spider. Oh, my mama, mama, dead homies, daughters, Lokes, loved ones, everything I love and live for, my sister and my sons. As I was watching this interview, I was watching it just interested in the whole what's been going on because of the title. The title was The Pimp has Become the Hope. But when Adam started saying this, oh, my mama, mama, my soul, I could just feel when he started saying, we're talking about other hosts. I just had a feeling my name was finna come up. And bingo, it did on my mama, mama. Just started fucking around doing whatever they were doing. And I was like kind of bringing up Spider. -Lite. I'm like, you know, like Sharp and uh, or uh, uh, Flacco and, and Spider, like th th this shit was kind of cool. Like, what do you guys think of Spider Loke or whatever? Listen, church, I'm gonna be totally real with you. I think we got to focus on the hosts we got instead. Hey, that's the exact energy Sharp had been giving me when I've been in the building. I remember one time we was doing like the Thursday show or something. And we was almost finished because came in and y'all can't see, but off camera, I could see cuz. And you could just tell cuz wasn't liking just something he wasn't liking. Like the fact that he didn't know what was going down or something. His energy was so like, you know how on, on belly, like man, I feel a lot of heat coming over on that couch. He was apparently so displeased that I said, hey cuz come here. And got up and let Cuz have my seat. You can go see it on the episode on my mama mama. He he said he was kind of hesitant, but he walked over there and sat down too with that attitude. Go watch it and you'll see the energy I'm I'm, I'm expressing. Going and trying to get some new dudes to come through. I don't think Damn, need, I forgot that part of the I, yeah, conversation. He's that, like, that happened. I, I don't think we need new energy in the building. Now, shout out Odium Slim, my nigga out the mud. It's another one of my co-hosts in this uh content she needs the homie um uh, i ain't gonna lie I, I ambushed his live last night and upon my request he reacted to this clip he took it somewhere i did not expect but this is one point he tried to point out and he wants to indicate he don't like adam at all can't stand him so he don't appreciate that adam the white boy is stirring up this type of confusion amongst blacks i understand that but i'm not upset so it's no big deal we know what type of tactics Adam utilizes throughout this process. You feel me? Oh, my mama, mama. So uh, <clears throat> when Odium Slim was doing this live last night, he was indicating that Brick perhaps is just going along with Adam saying this by saying, oh, I forgot all about that. And he never remembered or never heard the conversation that Adam is making all this up. I know better. Odium Slim didn't know all the backstory I had been telling you in the conversations. You dig a lot? Cuz ain't making that up. Oh, my, 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 my. That is exactly how Sharp feels, feels. Not in my face, not in my presence. He's cool. But outside of that, when I try to reach out and continue that energy, he, he doesn't reciprocate it. However, he does be cool enough, like I say, to pop up on my page. So I don't got no problem with Sharp. Everybody ain't attracted toward everybody's energy and want to collab and network with everybody on this. I feel like Nina, boy, would I get the movie like that? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Shout out to the homie neighborhood Nina for the night. But anyway, everybody ain't trying to deal with everybody exactly like you assume or perceive people are trying to deal with you. And if it's not now, if the value is still there from your perspective, maybe later. That's just how I saw it. But let's keep going. That I, I don't think we need new energy in the building. I think we got to focus on what we got right here. So, Odium Slim, just notice, cuz, cuz, not only did he say, uh, let me see. It's on the host we got instead of going and trying to get some new. Hold on. And, uh, or, uh, uh Flacco and, and Spider, like, th th this shit was kind of cool. Like, what do you guys think of Spider Loke or whatever? Listen, church, I'm going to be totally real with you. 
I think we got to focus on the hosts we got instead of going and trying to get some new dudes to come through. I don't think. Damn, we, I forgot that part I, of the yeah, conversation. He's that, like, read, that happened. I, I don't think we. Odium slam. So you you don't hear that natural reaction. Damn, I forgot that part of the conversation. I forgot that happened. What more is I perceive taking place is what you weren't aware of. Like I told you, even when Sharp wasn't around, when Brick was chopping it up with me, and he would suggest, yeah, maybe you could pull up that Sharp shit, we could do this. I will always let him know that I don't think Sharp really fucked with me. So he knows that I have the perception that Sharp don't fuck with me. But every time I mention it to him, he be like, nah, Sharp just be like this. He be on one. He be thinking about this. He be thinking about that. Sharp fuck with you and ain't like that. So right now, when Adam is exposing that Sharp said this in front of Brick Baby, Brick Baby saying, oh, I forgot. Does he know how many times I discussed with him kind of being, you know, curious as to why your partner don't really fuck with me? And Brick Baby always act like it ain't like that. So he's the one really being exposed as knowing Sharp had a certain type of energy toward me and he'd been denying it when I got at him. That's more of what's going on that nobody will be aware of. Oh, my mama, mama. Somebody, Clarence Carter say, white men tried to play y'all against each other. Look, he know what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, we. Adam has been, I called him before I even got up there on the 2024 invite. The supreme instigator something of that nature man hey but hey you gotta know what you're doing and what you're dealing with i come from an environment where everything we did was dangerous it was all type of traps and you could be fall victim to them you could come be succumb to them or you could stick and move now if you deal i everybody know my attraction toward the platform it's just the visibility now you can go in there and you can compromise your character, or you can go in there, maintain, and benefit, demand respect, and get up out of there. It's either way. Now, if you allow the energy that permeates around there, most often, I have never seen Almighty Suspect compromise himself, although I'm not an avid, no jumper watcher. I haven't seen everything he's done, but I've seen quite a bit from here to there over the years. And I've never seen him do nothing that I feel like is compromising. So it's obvious you can be in that building for a long period of time without necessarily getting caught up in the goof goofology and the antics that take place up in there. Shout out to Almighty Suspect, a real one, solid, stand on business. We need new energy in the building. I think we got to focus on what we got right here. That's yeah. basically him trying to say me. Bro, yeah. translation yeah, 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 is so yeah, yeah, transparent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, in yeah. other words, I don't want anyone to outshine me. So let's not even try anybody. What's our word of the day, y'all? Cor Coruscate. To shine. See how the word of the day came up, became relevant. How you say, I don't want nobody else shine me. I don't want nobody else coruscate me. Yeah, else when and, and like think about fucking wrestling think about Vince McMahon so let's like, not even try anybody else when and, and like think about fucking wrestling think about Vince McMahon it's like no matter how popular you are you have to also recognize that bringing on more people is going to keep shit lively you should yeah. be thinking maybe right. I could sit with Spider Loke maybe we could do an episode together maybe I could fuck that's deep damn church I was thinking the same thing church maybe I could sit with church maybe we could do an episode together when you came on my episode and I could tell you was kind of disgruntled, bro, I offered you my seat, brother. Oh, my mama, mama. I can create some content together or whatever instead of just trying to, like, stop it. Like, oh, no new members of the podcast squad because I'm trying to hold on to my spot. <laughs> no, he fuck exactly. with spider Log. That ain't to start no beef with spider No, Not no nothing to do with spider See? See what Brick said? He fucked with spider Log. Brick has been trying to tell me that for a long duration of time. Every time, because him and Sharp is tight. They politic, they fuck around, they be together. And it was a time when me and Brick used to communicate on a quite regular basis. And quite often, he would be with Sharp, or he would be just leaving Sharp, on his way to Sharp. So therefore, he would mention Sharp. And I will always make him aware of the energy between Sharp and myself. And he will always say something of that nature. Like, he fuck with, he fuck with Spider. Which, yeah, of course, there's no beef. He's not starting no beef. I'm not gonna allow nobody to start no beef for me. I beef when I choose to. 
97 points, 9977, 97 percent of my squabbles all started with me throwing the first punch. Oh my, my, my God, I got fired on first once in ninth grade, and then once at thirty something. So yeah, I don't really let people give me beefs and all that. I'm reacting to my name coming up on the podcast. This is great content for me to react to. It's very organic. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Create some content together or whatever instead of just trying to like stop it. Like, oh, no new members of the podcast squad because I'm trying to hold on to my spot. <laughs> no, he fuck exactly. with Spider Log. That ain't to start no beef with Spider Log. No, not no, nothing to do with Spider Log. It's not like I was hating on him and it's not like I was saying he was the greatest fucking. God damn, did you hear that? Brick, not the trick. Maybe I think he, you know what? I think the word he was thinking of maybe was sensitive. Sensitive. Maybe that. And sensitive, not as in I'm a sensitive ass nigga, but maybe he was thinking sensitive as to, you know, spider is not going to like certain things. But to say I'm emotional, <laughs> not the low cash. I've been in front of the public too long for you to try to throw that jacket on me. However, is that not the pot calling the kettle black? I believe you may qualify for the most emotional content creator online outside of Hassandra, Hassandra Campbell. You definitely are the perhaps most emotional content creator from our sector. I think you got that hands down. Oh, wait, nah. Uh, you, uh, uh, goofy rat ass might got you beat. But you right up there, bro. You have some of the most emotional moments known to the internet documented, bro. That's probably a word you shouldn't even have brought up, cuz. I don't know why you would try to even classify me as something other than a low though. Too many people know me. I'm on this thing too much for you to call me emotional and somebody go for that. What do you mean, bro? <laughs> You even <laughs> come on, bro. Oh man, outside of even on the internet, you talking about emotional. And this is no disrespect. This is just to clarify my shock and my appalledness at him utilizing such a word to describe me. Because in our communications, in our personal life, he's cried to me, he's expressing his feelings, not vice versa. Emotional. Wow. That was a cold word, Brick. Everybody knows how emotional you are, guy. <laughs> Every, absolutely everyone. Members of the podcast squad because I'm trying to hold on to my spot. <laughs> no, he fuck with Spider Log. That ain't to start no beef with Spider Log. No, 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 no. nothing to do with Spider Log. It's not like I was hating on him and it's not like I was saying he was the greatest fucking podcaster ever. We were, I was just trying to talk about him. And all of a sudden, Sharp is like, oh, no new dudes, no new friends. Yeah, and this yeah, is yeah, the yeah. thing. Yeah. No, I like was just saying because Spider Log, he can't wait for his moment to say somebody hated on him out the building. <laughs> now, just to make up a bold faced, blatant lie. Oh, my mama, mama. I'm so glad everything I say about the building is documented upon this here uh, World Wide Web Metaverse Internet. I got a challenge. I better ban. Break. Show up the content that where I have expressed that I can't wait for say somebody about the building hating on me. Better ban. 97.7797% of the people I know in that building, I'm a Google percent cool with. From Mikey to Laura to Josh to Remo to Deuce Dudes to Almighty to Lush One to Flacco. Who you and you the homie? So who and where do I express that I can't wait for somebody about the building to be hating on me? Damn. That's crazy. You just making up shit on the crib, cuz. That's a bold faced, blatant lie. Where did that come from, homie? Talk about him. And all of a sudden, Sharp is like, no, oh, no new dudes, no new friends. Yeah, and this yeah, is yeah, the yeah. thing. Yeah. No, I like was just saying because Spider Log, he can't wait for his moment to say somebody hated on him out the building. True. <laughs> so and then, at Deuce Deuce, you say true. I bet you the same band, Adam. You always throwing ba ba uh, uh, challenges and bets out there. I ain't got no big old, big old bag, but I bet a band. Can't neither of y'all pull up no content where I express that I feel like I just get hate out that building. Where is that coming from? I don't do nothing 
but show love and respect to that building in general. I don't even react to all the goofy ass bullshit that go up there on a consistent basis. I could be like a lot of other people and probably sustain my presence on here pretty consistently just reacting to all the bullshit. I ignore a lot of the shit because the homie up there and he be involved in the majority of it. That's crazy. Why you co-sign that bullshit, deuce deuce? I'm ashamed of you, homie. This yeah, is the yeah, thing. Yeah. No, it's I like, was just saying because Spider Loke, he can't wait for his moment to say somebody hated on him out the building. True. <laughs> so He'll probably I, use I, that. Yeah, it wasn't no, like, no, it was obviously, not I was like going to fuck with you or yeah, not fuck yeah, with you yeah, regardless yeah, of what yeah, Sharp yeah, said. Yeah. Yeah. I just no, had to here's put that the thing. For the Cause that's weak as fuck. East side east. That's weak. I don't get it. But hey, I've learned you can't expect yourself out of everyone. A strong girl told me, cause I don't I don't know what's up with Brick, bro. That's weird as fuck though. Oh blah 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 blah. But this nigga said I just gotta put that out there for the record. Cause Spider can't wait to say that dudes, dudes, you went and jump right on there to co-sign it. Like, what do y'all got going on, man? What is it? Like, y'all, you just, like, jumped on there to add validity to that bold-faced lie this nigga just told those dudes? What in the entire universe is going on with these guys? For real, like Gang Lamb Neem said, I don't know y'all. This is bullshit. Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, damn, I just turned the shit off, but that's okay. Your whole life, we say... The thing about no jumper, whenever I always get fired, these dudes sit around the table and expose how they always felt about them. But they were smiling in their face. That ain't none of my business, bro. I don't give a fuck about none of that. That's life in general, bro. That tends to take place in a lot of places. People gather, um, function together, and then when, you get, when it disseminates, bro, that's just the nature of life. It probably happens up there. Uh, a lot more visibly and noticeably because of the nature of things, and that's the way it is. I ain't tripping on what's going on at No Jump Red General in general and what the hosts go through. I don't give a fiend I've lived my life experiencing motherfuckers saying shit behind my back that they would never dare say to my face. So I'm not even surprised that that's an element of life that takes place. It's just how she need to go. But I was just tripping on how Above all things, the homie just lied on me. Cause first, I get to realize all these times we was having these conversations when he keep telling me, no, it ain't like that with Sharp. It ain't like that with Sharp. He already knew Sharp was speaking down on me. And then, you, you see, Adam said, mm, uh, what do you guys think? Then Sharp, he's saying Sharp spoke out first and gave his feedback but we have no record of what nobody else said about the subject matter. This time, I'm gonna just let the, I'm gonna play the clip one more time and just let it play. I ain't gonna stop it. Then we gonna get up out of here. I just wanted to react to that for the most part, y'all. One more time, here it go, and I ain't gonna um, pause it or nothing. And I even want to give you another example from that katana thing. We were talking about other hosts. Yeah. And we were like, I, I think the host that we were like discussing was like Spider Low, because I think that Flacco and Spider had just started fucking around doing whatever they were doing. And I was like, kind of bringing up Spider Low. I'm like, you know, like Sharp and uh, or uh, uh, Flacco and and Spider, like th th this shit was kind of cool. Like, what do you guys think of Spider Low or whatever? Listen, Church, I'm gonna be totally real with you. I think we got to focus on the hosts we got instead of going and trying to get some new dudes to come through. I don't think Damn, need, I forgot that part of the I, yeah, conversation. He's I like, read that happened. I, I don't think we need new energy in the building. I think we got to focus on what we got right here. That's and basically it. him trying to say me. Bro, yeah, 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 so yeah, transparent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, in yeah. other words, I don't want anyone to outshine me. So let's not even try anybody else. When and, and like think about fucking wrestling. Think about Vince McMahon. So let's like, not even try anybody else. When and, and like think about fucking wrestling. Think about Vince McMahon. It's like no matter how popular you are. You have to also recognize that bringing on more people is going to keep shit lively. You yeah. should be thinking, 
Maybe I could sit with Spider Loke. Maybe we could do an episode together. Maybe I could fucking create some content together or whatever instead of just trying to like stop it. Like, oh, no new members of the podcast squad because I'm trying to hold on to my spot. <laughs> no, he's fuck with Spider Loke. That ain't to start no beef with Spider Loke. No, not at all. nothing to do with Spider Loke. It's not like I was hating on him and it's not like I was saying he was the greatest fucking podcaster ever. We were, I was just trying to talk about him. And all of a sudden, Sharp is like, oh, no new dudes, no new friends. Yeah, and this yeah, is yeah, the yeah. thing. No, I like, was just saying because Spider Loke, he can't wait for his moment to say somebody hated on him out the building. True. So He'll probably I, use that. I, it yeah, wasn't no, like that. No, was Obviously, I was like going to fuck with you or yeah, not yeah, fuck yeah, with you yeah, regardless yeah, of what yeah, Sharp yeah, said. Yeah. Yeah. I just no, have to here's put that the thing. for the record. Here's the thing. It made me realize <laughs> Shit. how. What a weak ass laugh. Well, my mama, mama, I don't never say. Oh, they hating on me in that building. But that was some hater shit, though, on my mama mama. Wow, deuce, deuce, bring my name up. The flow of the conversation is going. As soon as you interjected your energy, oh, it's not like he's the greatest. This was deuce, deuce. Oh, it's not like he's the greatest. He went from speaking on me like this to like this based on your input. That was some hater shit. I ain't been waiting and dying to say that. If that was the case, what stops me from turning this camera on, turning this mic on, and saying, oh, they hating on me over there, if that's what I'm dying to do? Go prove it, bro. That's a bad bet for either of y'all that would like to take the challenge. I bet a, bet, I bet a band can't neither of y'all show where I'm on this motherfucker talking about I've been hated on. Because first of all, when I am hated on, bro, I don't even speak on it. I don't give a fee knuck about no niggas hating on me. I'm the loke. Do you know how long I've been absorbing hate? When you the she nit, you get hated on, bro. Who, who you? <laughs> Man, I re 99.97797% of my reactions, I'm laughing at the stuff I don't even like. Laughter is an emotion, so I guess that's emotional. <laughs> But you the one on here crying and screaming and throwing tantrums. <laughs> with your neck and nipples out talking to the white man. You got to be careful when, when a crip sit down with a white man at the table and start speaking on the homies and not representing them as nothing other than solid. You got to be careful because when a white man is sitting at the table with a, with a, with a homie and your name come up, you can look at this as maybe a model. I don't chop homies' names up, bro. Every time my homies' name came up, come up, it's salute. And I ain't going to let no white man speak down funny on none of my homies. On my mama mama. And deuce deuce, at least in that instance, at that moment, he wasn't saying nothing sarcastic, negative. He wasn't clowning my podcasting. He wasn't giving me no correction or nothing. But this nigga had to come in there and turn it to some. And the last time I spoke to Cuz, I called. We had it was our, we was extremely cordial. Requested he call into my podcast. He called in, did what it was. We haven't spoken since. And then they carried my name like that, bro. After I go around speaking on any, the whole thing is this. When I ever did, and you go look when he spoke about it, whenever I ever did have anything to say to him of displeasure, I would call him offline. I don't carry no nigga name like that when it come up. I know how to show salutations to a nigga name regardless. But I see how it is. No hard feelings, just observation, awareness, and reaction. No emotions. No emotions. I'm going to lead him to you, Brick. You and your hockey sticks. <laughs> Oh, bye, 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 bye. I'm out of here, y'all. Sniper and Nip Hustle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All right. No subliminal dissing When I listen, I can tell you never been on no mission Sticking to the script, don't care if I offend you Neighborhood crib, the marathon I overlook my competition, never seeing them I done train my mind that I'm going You could tell by how I walk, talk, I'm a boss A east side millionaire, on me what you got My life is a movie They can't get close to me They mad cause they can't be I'm everything that they wanna be yeah.